thing I really like about my job is um, I get exposure to many different projects, um, many different type of the risk. And uh, yeah, it is uh, kind of hard every time you try to pick up new work, which you have never seen before. Um, but I think it is fun. Hi, Alan. Thanks for being here today. Uh, so first, can you tell us about yourself? Sure. Um, thank you for having me here. And uh, hello, everyone. My name is Alan. Um, I was born in Ningbo, China, a small city near Shanghai, and uh, later moved to Toronto for university. I did both my undergrad degree and uh, graduate degree at the University of Toronto, uh, focusing on mathematical finance. And um, besides that, I've been also working towards um, CFA and FRM designation. Almost done with my CFA now. I just sat for level three exam a couple of months ago and uh, still waiting results. And I'm halfway through the FRM. Um, I found myself and I found myself quite enjoy the city of Toronto. So after my graduation, I didn't really go back to China, which many of my classmates do. And I instead have been working as a financial engineer for uh, two years before I joined Canada Life as an uh, investment risk analyst. Anyway, and outside the works, um, I'm a big fan of basketball. I play pretty much um, every week and I enjoy watching NBA games. Yeah, I think that's a little bit about me. Thanks, Alan. So like what led you to the current role or the current field? Um, so before Canada Life, I haven't had any experience in an uh, insurance company. I've worked at um, banks and IT companies. Um, kind of thought all financial related, but still a little bit different in terms of uh, live business or products. And actually, before I joined the company full time, I had an internship with the same team during winter 2021 while I was doing my master program, uh, which was designed to have a first semester uh, with the winter semester being the internship. So luckily, our program has a um, pretty good connection with the uh, industry. And uh, we had an internal portal where employers could see our profile and resume and reach out to candidates um, who catch their interest. So that's how I met my current manager. Uh, we had an interview. She walked me a little bit through the job as well as the team. And I feel like this might be an interesting opportunity and align quite well with my specialization. So later I spent, I spent four months in investment risk team as a um, co-op student. I uh, learned a lot and uh, totally happy with my experience, despite it was um, fully online at that time um, due to COVID. And uh, yeah, my manager gave me a return offer shortly after my internship ends. So I just went back to school to finish my master program and uh, rejoined the team last summer. Uh, it was the same team, but we had a name change, uh, not called investment risk team anymore. So we're now financial risk team. I do know on a high level of what your area is about, but uh, I'm also interested in your day-to-day -day job and stuff. So can you describe your current role in a typical, maybe typical day or week as an uh, investment risk analyst? Sure. Um, so our team is actually split by two, which are um, operation teams and uh, strategy team. At the beginning, I was a strategy team, mainly helping my manager on liquidity risk, um, collateral framework and other initiatives and projects. So the job including updating the aggregation model every quarter based on the data we receive from regions and uh, performing risk reviews and some other ad hoc government items. And however, earlier this year we had some turnover in the team. So some people from operation team left. So they are in shorthand for market and credit risk reporting. So I've been stepping back from liquidity and help with uh, market risk reporting since uh, Q1 this year. And basically, I will need to collect data from many different teams and regions, including overseas affiliates and, of course, EIM as well, uh, and consolidate them into a um, deck of reports, which will be used in various committee meetings and also sent to OSPI for regulatory oversight. And also, uh, reasons that I've been helping with the credit risk um, quarterly quarterly modeling and uh, limit testing, um, which we try to examine the impact of um, capital at risk under different scenarios. Uh, for example, what if we have a concentrated portfolio? Uh, 
which most of the holdings are within few uh, single names, how the capital risk will increase compared to um, normal portfolio or the, or the, or the actual portfolio we hold. And um, but now we have a new actual analyst joined a couple of months ago. So I'm uh, also part of my day, including transferring my knowledge to him and let him take over starting next quarter. And I'll be go back to the strategy team. So um, probably that wouldn't. I wouldn't say this is a typical day for investors analysts, and because uh, I'm kind of special at the moment and do a mixture of a little bit of everything. But anyway, I, I I like having exposure to different kind of works rather than doing replicative ones. So, um, I I feel I'm quite enjoy with the work I'm doing right now. Yeah, that's good to hear. Yeah, I think it's also good to have opportunity to like get cross training and expose to different things because then you can find like what you like or what you don't like and then maybe go further into areas that you enjoy more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like uh how do you interact with other professionals in the team and company then? Uh this is like a question from uh, from my channel subscriber. It's like for example, how do you interact with like the actual the actuaries or the data scientists or accountants or other professionals in, in the in the team or the company? Yeah, I think that's a um, good question. To be honest, I think most of my colleagues are um, actuaries. Uh, I only know probably two of them having uh, CFAs and non actually data scientists or accountants. And for myself, I don't intend pursuing actual designation either. Because I feel like I'm not so much into aesthetics or accounting. Also, I did study a good amount of them while in school. Um, I also want to give a little bit more diversity to our team. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, I don't find there much difference between people having different type of um, designations and have no issue discussing what kind of with the people uh, coming from different backgrounds. They all know quite well about their job when I came to ask questions. But uh, yeah, I do agree that uh, for people having a relevant designation, and they might be a little bit better at explaining things um, in a more concise and um, understandable way. At the end of the day, what do you like about your job that you decided to come back? And on the other hand, like, do you what do you find like challenging about it then? Yeah, I think I have mentioned a little bit about this before. So one thing I really like about my job is um, I get exposure to many different projects, um, many different type of the risk. And uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of hard every time you try to pick up new work, which you have never seen before. Um, but I think it is fun. Um, if you are doing one thing over and over again, for sure, you'll be very good at it and takes you a light amount of time um, every time. But I personally feel it's a, a little bit boring and I'm always curious about learning new stuff. Uh, just my two cents. And challenges, of course, sometimes uh, no one gonna teach you formally. So you just have to Google and um, ask questions. And luckily we have some um, somewhat outdated um, process guide, which eats my life a little bit. Um, but still, um, I, I remember I did um, a lot of trial and error when I um, do my work for the first time. Uh, yeah, and other than that, I really like our team, which is um, very chill and working environment. Uh, my former managers are very supportive, give me directions um, and respond to my question very quick, usually within a few minutes. So last but not least, like any advice uh, for people who want to get into the quantitative risk or investment risk field? Depending on the audience age, if you are a freshman in university, I will probably suggest choosing your major wisely. For example, if you are in finance, you'll find a lot of the content in CFN and FRM already covered in school, uh, which makes your life easier when you're trying to pursue those destinations after graduation. And of course, if you're already in a completed, completely unrelated area, then that's still okay. Maybe consider applying for a more aligned program in graduate school. Um, but coffee chat with people who already work in the quantitative risk uh, fields or study, um, you know, for those professional designations. And I feel like financial industry nowadays are pretty open about employees' major, um, not just finance, math, stats, computer science, accounting. All of them are quite transferable skills. Uh, and uh, also, also considered related uh, in finance. Um, 
But anyway, my plan is I'm um, trying to figure out what you really like at an uh, early stage, and uh, how you're gonna find out is um, maybe ask your senior friend, maybe find an intern job during your first second year um uh, summer, uh, maybe ask your school career advisor um uh, to list you a couple pros and cons of working at XSX, and um, also what knowing you are good at is essential. If you find yourself stuck with uh, metal stats or coding, um, public cons is not a good fit for you. Maybe try uh, something slightly different. Mm. Operational risk. Um, I can't speak too much about operational risk because I don't have any experience with it, but I presume it is less quantitative, but still um, similar risk management framework. But anyway, um, if you really like it, I would say, um, Go for it. Nothing stops you from pursuing your dream. It just uh, might have to pay more efforts to get into the field. Mm -hmm.